Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Herald Cast. I'm Odie Pixel. Uh, I hope you're doing wonderful today, and that you're looking forward to seeing some notes too. As always, we've got an exciting Herald matchup for us to observe here uh, on the channel. And uh, if you do enjoy the content, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, a comment. Any of them is appreciated. I appreciate you massively, uh, even if you don't drop one of the three of them, and if you just enjoy watching because that's what we're here for we're here to enjoy watching some dota 2 here together so let's see what do we have today we have a bat rider we have a centaur wall runner we have an oracle we have a, an undying and a silencer that's going to be your radiant lineup over on the dire side we've got a luna we've got a shadow shaman we have a venge we have a quap we have a tide hunter i love to say look at this venge set wow that is a funky Venge set. Very cool. Very, very cool. Yeah, thumbs up to that. Right. Well, let's have a look. Where's people going to be going? Oracle has... Uh, they're buying stats. Oh. Wait, what's, where's this? What's, we'll see where this see where this goes. Let's have a look. Well, Bounty Rune. Ease. Centaur. Wasn't actually... Did he get... No, he didn't pick it up in time. That's like Shaman was... Oh, I guess he got, he got hit by the Magic Missile, so he couldn't pick it up. It's fine. It's fine. Right. Who's going where? That is the question. Who has the answers? I guess I guess I'll try my best to to have the answer. Centaur's gonna be top. Supported by an Oracle. So it doesn't really have support your items, but I guess that's just how it goes sometime. Luna's gonna be carrying. And Shaman's gonna be supporting them on the Radiant side of things. On the middle lane, Queen of Pain. Oh, where Wait, what? Oh no, she got well, what? She has the bottle. Here we go. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, okay, it's fine. Okay, she went yeah. She got the bottle. She went bottle first. Completely naked. I don't mind it. It's fine. It's fine. Uh against the bat rider, he himself did start off with some items. That's a salve of clarity and a trank uh, well, Mr. the trank was really the wind lace and the ring of regen. Down on the bottom half of things, we have a... Oh, a Silencer Carry. Interesting. Exciting. Silencer Carry. With an Undying Support. They're going to be stealing in. They're going to be stealing Strength. That's going to be nasty down here. And they're against an Offlane Tide. And a Support Vengeful Spirit. Alrighty. Well... Let's have a look what happens here then. And, uh... I think Tide's going to be a little miserable, honestly. I don't think it's going to be too fun. You step up, you get slapped by the silencer. He's going to be chucking these glaives out at you. It's not going to be too much fun at all. Top lane. How's the farm for the Luna looking? Oh, easy denies. Three and five. And how's the Centaur's farm looking? Not many. Eh? They're getting some heavy denying going on in on the Dire, so I think the levels will be a bit slow for Radiant on the start. Let's see if they can keep it up. Oh, missing CS as well. Unfortunate. Centaur's taking quite the punch. He's uh, he's got a salve coming out to him. Oh yeah, Shaman wanted to go there. I mean, if he was able to get him for the shackles, I think they, they. Yeah, he's coming back in. He's living on the edge. He's living on the edge. If Dyer believe they could definitely go for him, I think out of all the lanes so far, we've got to keep our eyes on this top lane because I feel like the Centaur may just die. A salve coming out here for the Centaur. Oracle's gonna get his first Null Talisman done. And then mid. Bat having the better time against the Queen of Pain. And I'll, I'd say I'm not surprised. I mean, Quop did just start with the bottle. And by the looks of it, oh, they are spamming their abilities. They're going for the lane domination. They want the points and the dagger. We'll see if they take that all the way. They're going to be going for the Witchblade first. There's a fair few stacks up, but she has got Blink. And with the stick and the water room ready to pop, she's... Yeah, Bat can't really go for this kill unless she makes some huge mistake. What's got coming out here? Some tips. What's happening here? All right. They're trying to, what, tilt the Luna or something? I know, we're just getting tips from all across the map. Literally from everywhere. What's everybody tipping the Luna? <laughs> what, did, what, did, what did the Luna do? I don't know. I mean, they're trying to th throw the carry off her game, I think. They're just throwing tips at her. I mean, they're going to have to throw a lot more because she's smashing this top lane. But the CS is perfect. Well, maybe not perfect, but it's very, very good. Like, this is a lot of denies. 15 and 10. Oh, that, that's rough. 
That's right. I mean, what's the, what's the levels looking like? I mean, it doesn't look too much difference because Oracle's given the center a little bit of space. But uh, yeah, Luna definitely seems to know what they're doing. So maybe, you know, just correct identification there from the Radiant. This Luna is... I, she's going she's gonna to be the, the, the hero they, they may have problems with. If uh, this laning is anything to go by. Whoa. Oh, he's not got quite enough mana for the shackles. Now he does. It's a little too far away. Oracle. Cool. Punching back nicely. Done a fair bit of damage. We'll see Venge over to the side. Undying and Silence so will try and look towards them, but... Don't have a huge amount of catch. How's Tide's farm down here? T oh, yeah, Tide's farming very nicely. He's actually top of the CS right now. 20 and 8. Uh, against, you know, 9 for 3 Silencer. I guess, yeah, whilst he's having to harass, he's not having a fun time actually getting the last hits underneath the, the nose of the Tide Hunter. And no one's dead yet. Kind of a rare start in that regard. Five minutes in, nobody dying. So don't worry, you don't need to adjust your computer screens. I haven't missed First Blood this time because it ha it just hasn't happened yet. And the question is, where will it happen? Honestly, I think it could have happened there if uh, Undying was a little bit quicker with the Tombstone. But was it to be? He holds the Tombstone back. Ooh, top lane. Top lane's getting a little bit scary here for both sides. And they have a lot of Burst Radiant, so Shaman does get caught out with the Who Stomp. Double Edge. And the combo of the Oracle. He will die. Oh, Undying. See what he can do here. They're going for the Tombstone first, correctly. Oh, I missed the first blood. God Oh, damn it. It happened in the mid. All right, whatever happens. It happens. It's fine. Mid, just... Like, she got lassoed. All right, level six was hit. Bats in with the lasso. Quop's gone. Okay. Okay. That was the first blood. It's fine. You didn't want to see it. It's fine. I mean, I've been watching these guys down bottom, you know. I'm, like, seeing this going on between the... And dying in the Venge. I'm like, somebody's going to die down there for sure. Nope. Nope, not at all. Back on the mid. Oh, so Quop, of course, has got the Sonic Wave. Uh, but Bat, he's, he's got a fluffy hat. He's got a little fluffy hat there. A little bit of extra HP to help him against the burst of someone like a Queen of Pain. What's got going on here? Oh, oh, oh I, wait, we saw that. We saw that. You can slow that down. We did see that. We did. We did. I'm sure I would clicked over in time. But that's quite dead a second time in this mid lane. So Bat's going to be very, very happy. They were even bringing in extra help there. I mean, Radiant seemed to be uh, dealing with the mid very, very nicely. Side lanes are completely different. Oh, my. Look, okay. I've got to focus. Oh, I've got to focus. I've got to focus. Right. Focus, focus, focus. Right. Okay. Luna's tipping back. She's tipping back. No, they should get a bit of help as well for the Shadow Shaman. He's tipping over as well. You know, they were tipping the Luna heavy big time earlier. Now they're going to make sure they tip back. Right. We won't be missing a kill ever again. I can promise you. Doesn't happen. Doesn't happen here on this channel. It does not happen. What's the, what the, what the Oracle's plan is? They have two no Talismans. Centaur has returned. It's going to be going straight for the hood this game. Oh, they're going to try and make a bit of a move on to the Luna. Oh, she's fine. She's fine. They, 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 they can't have enough to kill them. And I mean, what's she got on the regen? No regen. We're very close to having the Morbid Mask. See so if they can make another move before she gets that regen out. Oh, here's the setup. Another stun. Hey, have they got enough? Oh, it's close. Good try. Good attempt there, but unfortunately the nuke's not hitting hard enough. Co-op's going to come in with a rotation. In fact, everybody is. There's Avenger as well. They've got four heroes at the top trying to protect their Luna from these sort of moves. Uh, rightfully so, Radiant, they'll back off, the two of them. But there's a lot of focus that Dyer has uh, sent to the top lane. So space is going to be there for the bat to completely free farm to his heart's content. Uh, bottom lane, Tide, still farming much better than the Silencer. But Silencer, at least not any threat of dying. Maybe that would change now that Ravage is online. 
Silencer. Ah, he's full HP, so unlikely that the, the Ty's going to be able to run him down and kill him. He's got the Mana Boots, and he's going to be going for the Straight Greaves. Not bad at all, of course, against the Silence. The Global Top Lane. There we go. We didn't miss that one. Ease kill. Sonic Wave down. The Centaur's gone. Quop will probably continue to try and find their way back into this game through the side lane movements. As the mid lane didn't go great. Couple of deaths here against the bat. And bat, as you can see, heavy lead here from the man. See so what they can set up on the mid. They do have Ravage. It's uh, actually tied. He's going to just get straight up lasso. Bat's going to go for the kill. Stick charges are there. See if Bat can keep chasing this down. Firefly is surely coming to an end. So it will be difficult. I don't think he does enough with the right clicks alone. And yeah, also has the Venge coming over to keep the tide safe on the retreat. Top lane. Again, trying to get aggressive onto these two. But the control from the Shaman stops them from being... Chase down completely. As Luna's going to be okay. They're under the tower. They've now got that Morbin Mask. So they'll be able to keep themselves consistently at full HP in that lane. They, do, they really want to try and get for this mid, but of course Venge, nowhere near the level 6 right now. It's hard to get the setup they need. Obviously down the line, Venge's moves are going to be pretty crucial. So we'll have that solid counter to the lassos that the bat will be throwing out. I mean, Oracle's came mid, but I don't know, it doesn't really need to be here. I don't think Bat will die. He's got 1300 HP. Oh, Aggressive blinking. Still, though, it's okay. I mean, Quop can't afford to walk out. There's no knockback, no flame break in the skill build of the Bat. So he's fine. Silence, what's the build for him? What have we got coming out? Just getting his treads. Oh, Tide. I mean, Tide might have this. If he wants to Ravage, ooh, no, he doesn't want to. It would have been close. Ravaging another Anchor Smash and then a gush a couple of seconds if he could chase down. But he doesn't want to take the risk. He doesn't want to feel that he's at, he, the Ravage is getting forced out of him that easily. Talking about getting forced out of them top lane. This tower's going down. We'll see a chase here. With the Stampede, they're on top of the Luna. Bats him with the rotation. They take out the Luna. They take out the Shadow Shaman as well. The tower will get finished off by the Serpent Wards. Quop did come over to try and help out. Maybe get something in return. Has got Sonic Wave, but can't quite do it again. These tips. My goodness, they really are trying to send, you know, you know just sort of tilt this Luna to the best abilities. The tipping continues. Will it be successful? Do, do tips win game? Oh, ult on ult action there. That was quite, quite exciting. I think the uh, Quop should be fine. She's got Blink in a second. Oh, in fact, oh, that's a kill. Ah, oh, easiest kill of the Luna's life there. Walks up an elusive beam to take down a bat that's already been brought down low by the sonic wave and the neutral creeps that were beating into it. See what more the Quop can get. So looking for the uh, Oracle. Oh, they should have this. They do. There's going to be another one for the Luna. No, never mind. Shaman says I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that with the old zap. The old ether shock. That one's my one. Let's see what they can go for now. Oh, yeah. All right. Is this the... Uh, this is the new skill, the new, the new build on support Oracle? Double nulls into Dagon. Well, we'll see how well it works. Bottom lane. Tide. That was pretty dead. Stampede in. Tide better run. Oh, they, yeah, they got him. That was a whole team going from there, bless him. He didn't really stand much of a chance at all. They had uh, everything to throw at the Tide. Could have popped a Ravage, but, you know, nobody wants to be popping a Ravage defensively. They tips continuing. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Radiant. They... They, they really feel they've got something going with the tips here. Tip after tip after tip after tip. I don't think I've ever seen this amount of tips this early on in a Herald game. How's oh, Silence doing on his items? What's he going for? The pretty good with the, the Witchblade, right? Yeah, he just needs... needs hey, he's not far off. Not far off. 
Oh? Oh, that's a dead quap. Oh, that's a very, yeah, very quick blink and a kill there. I mean, Bat's definitely going to be quite a, a nuisance this game. Second highest, and he's making a lot more moves than the Quap's able to do so, so far. Three deaths on the Queen of Pain. Luna's farming very well, though. So as long as Luna ain't dying, I would say Dyer's not going to be too fussed with how this early game's going. Like, especially when you look at the heroes that Radiant have. They don't really have a proper cat. They don't have a Luna, you know? Who's going to scale? I mean, sure, Silence of Scales, but... I feel like on paper, there's many reasons to be much more fearful of an AFK farming Luna than an AFK laning Silencer, you know? So, I think the yeah, die is probably like, as long as we can hold on to our towers, make sure that Luna's got the space to hit the creeps. Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Or oh, mid. I quit so up in a shackle. Sonic Wave as well, out of the two of them. Venge will die. But they get Centaur in return. Oh, coming back into the Serpents. That's a little risky. I mean, Quop it. Oh, no. Well, oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ooh, that was... That was... A, I believe it was on cooldown, and... Uh, it's a good job that he had a mech on Tide. Uh, there, there could have been the chance that that Quop would have died there, trapped in the Firefly. Uh, you know, because the Serpent... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. How did I miss this? Oh, look at this. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, look at this. That is a lot. Of, that's a huge amount of farm. Some massive stacks here. These guys are going to be huge. Oh. Oh, they got Lasso in a second. Oh, oh, they got him. The Root and the Nuke coming out from the Oracle. That's the job done. They will make the Batrider pay. Oh, no, they won't. He's got his false promise. He's got his false promise. Bat's fine. Bat's fine. All right, it's whatever. Back to farming here for the Luna. Get this one done. I mean, Luna's going to be huge. Like, the, yeah, she's already, like, nearly 2k ahead of anyone else. So she's going to be over, like, 2,000 net worth higher than anybody else in the game here 16 minutes in. Uh, Ty Bin and Bro, they're tanking and not taking any for himself. So this Luna seems to know what they're doing. The team seems to know what they're doing. They're prepping the game really nicely for Luna. Boom. There we go. The Ash is done. And indeed, yeah, over 2,000 gold ahead of the Batrider. Oh, that's a, that's a scary Luna. Nearly level 12 as well with the XP. Which is, yeah, to be fair, catching up with the Batrider. Batrider's uh, still a, a level ahead. Yeah, this Luna is fat. This is a fat Luna here for 17 minutes in. See what they can do around the mid. Bat wants to try and push. I guess pushing power from the Radiant... Yeah, it's kind of non-existent. They actually have, like, one of the worst lineups for pushing towers I've ever seen. Like, it's pretty bad. Oh, right. They've got a good lineup for killing, though. Well, actually, I say that... Oh, oh easy four-man Ravage. Shackles it out. They get the swap. Serpent wards as well. Then will be the Venge that falls first. Quick heal from the Undying. is up to the high ground. Centaur left on the low ground will die to the Eclipse. The die is still falling pretty low. The zombies are biting down upon them. The Tombstone was placed really nicely here on the high ground. Undying still alive. As he's actually going to be able to survive through it all. It's three dead on the Dyer. Batrider, he's not done. He's chasing on. He's got the stacks building up. As this Luna is dead as well. Triple kill for the Oracle. I think my man here has just deserved to nerd himself a Dagon. And he's got it coming out next. That was a huge team fight for them to take and getting a massive kill there onto the, or the Luna at the end. Yeah, Oracle, he's 5-1-4. and four. He's, uh, he's feeling that he's having a good time here right now. Look at him go. There we go. Look at this. The Dagon. 18 minutes in. This is the kind of support that you want in your game. Or maybe not. Or maybe not. But it's the one that they got here this game off for Radiant. And that's just how it is. That's just how it is. Let's see what he can do with it. Oh, that. Careful. Nearly dying. Nearly dying. Let's go. 
they got the dag on. Let's see, it's, it might catch some people by surprise here. So what they do? Yeah, go on. Give it, give him a zap. Do it. Oh, I just want to see it. Just want to see a little bit of a zap. Oh no, Oracle. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, Oracle's dead. Or maybe not. Or maybe he is. Are the heels? Oh, the heels! Oh, the save! Bats in the middle! Oh my goodness, they're all just gonna die! Oh, Radiant just appeared out of nowhere! And then everybody just died. Oh, he's even typing an easy here. The Dagon Oracle, he's calling it easy. Oh boy. Let's see if they can get some more here. They're going for the tide. Oh, they can. Oh, there it is. There it is. There's the Dagon. There's the Dagon. Four dead on the dire. Luna's like, my goodness, I'm going to have to carry hard. And she is. Luna is going to have to carry hard this game. That was, uh, they just melted in that team fight. Where we go? Tier 1's gone. It is gone. Let's move on to the next one. On to the Tier 2. Let's see what they can get done here. They're coming in for the defense. What we got? Shaman and Quop. Lasso is on cooldown. Luna contemplating whether to get involved, but probably would do their best to just get the Manta style complete. You know, the game's in a bit of a volatile spot. There's only one K in it, but they're down 16 to 6, Dire. Uh, they don't want to force anything until Luna's got kind of that first major item done. See Oracle? The Dagon is getting geared up. It's getting leveled up. He's up to level 2 Dagon. Silencer. After the Witch Blade, what's he got coming out here? He has... He's going for the BKB. Witch Blade into the BKB. It's very, very sensible. I can appreciate that. A little surprising. I feel like that's a, an early BKB for a carry here in Herald normally. I mean, I like even myself, I like to... You don't want to get the BKB that early. But feeling the necessity to do so this game. Mid, bat. Overestimating the, the capabilities there. Whoa! Uh, there's the, uh, the Dagon from... Da from the old uh, Oracle, we'll pick up the Tide kill. Yeah, I think Bat felt he was a bit more invulnerable and invincible when he went in with the false promise that was thrown out upon him. He was like, yeah, I'm going to go in. I've got this ult. I can't die. But then the ult comes to an end and then he dies. Well, I'll push this tower. Luna's got the money for the Manta style. And yeah, they've got to watch out for this Dagon Oracle. He is uh, he's, he's bursting them pretty nicely. Top lane. Well, TP's coming in, Venge. Are they able to get in for the swap? They might be able to do so. They do. They swap back the silence. He was trying to get the global out. Could not do so in time. Good to see that he didn't panic and continue trying to press it. He knew he was dead. Saves it for another time. Wait! <laughs> I've got to watch this Oracle. Uh, they're just going to be zapping people all over the place. All over the shop. They're 8, 1, and 7. Zap, zap, zap. Oh, mid. What's the play here? I mean, again, they can kill, but they don't really push. They do not push. Yeah, yeah, they, they at least, you know, they've got no sort of accelerant or no sort of way to fast, fast push, fast siege towers. So they, they just have to rely on killing. How's Oracle going to go next? Da, 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 da. Oh, oh, he may have gone a little, a little too deep here. Yeah, he's going to pay for that one. He's going to pay for that one. I, uh, you, you know, short. Sure. Uh, he's getting easied back. I mean, it has to happen, right? Absolutely. you got to do that. If somebody all chats easy at you, you 100% are hitting them back with the easy if you kill them. You are. That's how it goes. I'm global. It's going to be used in an effort to uh, keep the Undying safe. And maybe an effort to turn things around. But the Ravage, it's a nice one. Out of the three of them. Undying. Oh, he's able to turn. Quop's nearly dying. And Dyg is still alive. I feel like I've got to watch him here. He can't get the clap off in time. The Hex comes in with the Charm and he will die. So we'll see Batrider trying to make a move for this side. Let's the side offering up the damage. The zombies, they're doing work. And they're, not, they're trying to get rid of it, but it's too slow. Luna's already dead. Tide, also maybe going to die. The Glaives, oh, Silence is running in, but they're both so low. Oh my goodness, they're both so low. The Hex is there, Shaman. Oh, the final right click to finish the job off. The Shaman will get the kill. Oh, okay, he does die for it. Silencer comes back in with the curse. They're both so low. Oh, so they're going to jump and burst him. Oh, they do. Silencer wanted to get some more out of this. <laughs> Oracle will get some more out of this. He comes in with the Dagon, takes out the Queen of Pain. Another nuke for the Purifying Flames, finishes off the Tide. 
Could he go for another? I think he might be able to. Oh, the co-op's not happy. But rude. Triple kill for Oracle. <laughs> oh my goodness. Easy, easy, easy. The easy is easy. Wait. Wait, yeah, wait, wait, yeah, wait. Hang on. Venge. It wasn't. That was Avengers time to type easy. Your whole team's dead. I <laughs> like how Ben sort of realised, like, <laughs> easy, wait, oh wait, hang on, my whole team's dead. Oh, this is, this is not the part where I'm meant to type easy. <laughs> well, Oracle's adventures continue, level 3 Dagon is done. Do we get any cool talents for this sort of burst build? Oh, yeah, you do actually, look at that, that's quite nice. Level 20. Plus 30% purifying flames enemy damage. That is pretty nice. That's, that's more magical damage. Sounds good to me. Level 4 Dagon. Here we go. Here we go. My die shaking up a little bit. Luna needs to get that BKB, I think, before she turns up to the next fight. It's nearly there. Nearly there. 500 gold. Not be done. Oracle. Oh. Oh. If Quop wasn't happy earlier, she's not going to be happy right now. Easy kill for the Oracle. Oh, Oracle being a bit BM. Dropping a pause. He knows that he's making the Quop angry. He wants to try and rub it in a little bit more. Pausing and tipping here from the Radiant. Quop, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's fair, yeah. Wow, you are that kind of guy? Okay, then. I mean, true. It's true. True, apparently he, he is that kind of guy. He goes around with Dag and then pauses. I mean, you could debate if the pause was deserved, but I don't think so. Quop just voiced the anger. It wasn't arrogance. Oh. Here we go. Well, that's a dead oracle. That's a dead undying. And they, they may, maybe even some more here. I think Luna's getting a bit of a cleanup on this one. Ah, yeah, they're getting a nice bit of a cleanup here. Three dead on the Radiant. Luna fights, fights one. That was pre-BKB also. She didn't quite have the BKB. So good fight there. Good fight. They, they finally kill off. They shut up the oracle for now. And, of course, whilst Radiant side don't really push, Dire side pushes very, very well. Luna, beautiful. Shaman and his wards, beautiful. They take the tier 1, they'll go up for the tier 2. We'll see what more they feel that they're able to find here. Ah, uh, looks like they want to back off. I mean, they still have a little bit of time, but I think they... I don't think they need to rush it. Let the Luna take her time. Let her get her items. She's still so far ahead of anybody else in the game. Nearly 15k net worth. Like, she is massive. It's obviously much more evenly split on the Radiant side. Uh, as you can see, you know, despite the fact that there is a, a core hero that's 5k ahead of anyone else on the other side of the, side of the, the map. It's less than a 1k difference between the two teams overall worth. Um, and we're seeing that because, yeah, just the difference in the supports as well. So as farmed as Luna is, if she dies in the team fight, then suddenly the net worth difference is huge. So a lot of weight is on this Luna not getting burst at the start of the fight. Are oh, what do we got? Well, his BKB is done on silencer. He gone for the fancy boots, boots of bearing. Got to remember some of these new items' names. The heart. He's going for the double heart. Full tank. Full tank. Full tank here from the center. Veil vale was picked up here for the Undying. A little bit of assistance to the burst that's coming out from the Oracle. And Oracle does, of course, have the max level Dagon. They'll be going over for the E-Blade. Getting that burst up to even more insane levels of damage. Progression on the Dyers we've seen. Going for the Daedalus after the BKB. Ether Lens on the Venge. Greaves was done on the Tide Hunter. Shaman's got the reach with the Ether Lens. And 1600 to go towards his next time. Whether he wants to get the Blink or maybe go for an Axe. And Queen of Pain is uh, get it, getting the Orchid. The silence up for the squad. Oh, she has been caught. And they'll commit a lot there. Swap comes in. 
Tide will step forward with the Ravage. They're going to try and fight this. Eclipse comes out the side. Luna's got the damage to bring down the Batrider. Now they'll head up to the high ground, but the Burst is coming in. They've lost the Quap, the Venge, and the Tide. Can Luna and Shaman clean this up just with the two of them? They're trying, but already Oracle's got the triple kill. Luna is trying to finish off this Centaur, but the... Oh, the heal comes out. What the range of that cast range? My goodness. That's, it seemed huge then. It, 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 they were able to get it off. Keep the Centaur alive. Luna has to back away. They, they, they can't commit for any more kills. It's just the two of them. Venge comes in with a buyback. But there's still four heroes up on Radiant. And we'll see here. That money is going to help push this Oracle towards the E-Blade. Unfortunately for Dyer, the buyback of the Vengeful Spirit doesn't really result in much happening for them. So. A little concerning maybe here for, for the Dyer side. Oracle's on the hunt. Nothing to be found here. I say it's scary. Uh, I mean, whoever this oracle does get the catch on her. They still burst most of them. I think they, they, they like, Quop will die. Or at least get very close to dying. There's a lot around, though. There's a lot around. So the swap come in. Yeah, the burst. Not enough to take out the Venge. Actually using the Stampede as well, concerned that the Oracle might get caught. Centaur doing what he can to help out. Centaur's farming quite nicely. I mean, he is, you know, 4,000 HP on this man. But when the E-Blade's there, already a bit more of a, a step up to the, the power that this Oracle possesses with the Kaya done. On level 20, so you've also got that 30% purifying flames damage. Oh, there you go. I think those little factors coming into play there. Spell out from the Kyre, and as I said, the, the amp up. See, Sensor now, this time it's not the Oracle being toxic. It's a little bit of a pause from the teammates. Now, you're so radiant, they're feisty in this game, really. Tips and pauses. All coming out. Oh, they go for Roche. And, I mean, they don't have the best Roche lineup, but they have a safe Roche lineup. They can have a Centaur tank this quite easily. Get the Aegis. Luna. Oh, they found the Oracle. Oh, that's a nice kill. That's a really, really good kill. Getting the Oracle to start things. Roche has low. Can Luna get in on this? Oh, Tide's in. He's got the Ravage. Oh, it's so low. It's so low. They're getting in. This is going to be great for the Dyer. The Global's out, but the BKB's already there. Oh, no, but Recentral's still able to pick up the Aegis. Dyer did get the kill. And I think they'll kill the center off a second time. I mean, they should. Yeah, they, they will. They, they are going to get everybody. So it still goes fantastically for the Dyer. They take everything apart from the actual pick up the Aegis. Other than that, they kill off the Aegis carrier twice. They get the kill on Roshan. And they kill the whole team. Oh, the whole team. And now it's time to push. They got a big push going on here. Big push. I mean, a perfect time for them to turn up to Rosh. And just one of the downsides of Radiant's lineup, whilst they could do the Roshan fairly safely in regards to not losing much HP to start things off, they weren't able to do it very fast. So here we have it. Tier 2's taken up to the Tier 3's. Let's see what Undying can put in position. Oh, he's been jumped straight away. Oh, he just dies immediately. As they're going to lose this tower. I think, I think they're going to be able to get Rex out of this as well. They've got a Luna. They push hard and fast. Oracle's going to show himself. Oh, jump forth in the tide. They're going to go for the Oracle. The buyback comes out for the Undying. False promise will keep the Oracle safe. Luna's going to start in a bit of a poke onto the tier fours. I mean, how much more do they feel they can go for? Radiant is starting to respawn. But that's it. The damage is done. They got this mid set of racks. Big push, big plays here from Dyer. Full Daedalus is done. Level 23 on the Luna. Luna nearly doubling the net worth of anybody else in the game. 
They can swing around towards the bottom lane. They've got the creeps pushing in here. Let's see. Now, what's the play from Radiant? Now, you're going to be shaken up pretty big there. Oh, some big moves from Dyer. Oh, Tombstone's down, but it's going to be very easy to get rid of. They will do so, Shaman. Oh, he's going to be okay. He's going to be okay. They'll take out the Tombstone, they'll get away. Tier 2 takes quite a bit of a beating. They don't want to stick around. I mean, Dyer's going to feel strong. They may be down on the kills, but they know as long as Luna's able to get the BKB off and step into the midst of the fight with the Eclipse, they're trying to go. Radiant's leading out. Does Venge want to go for a swap move? It's all down to Venge, really, to see if they want to initiate. Luna. Oh, nothing to be out here. Nothing to be out here. I mean, Radiant's got all the way back to the base. They've responded as five of them here to the creeps pushing in. Not that that was really too necessary. Luna keeping the push. Safely dealt with on bottom. Oh, Tide's in. Oh, Swap and Dying is... Oh, he's so dead. Separated from the, any sort of backup that he could expect to come in. They get the tier two. Let's see how much of a push they can go for. They've got their ults. They've got Ravage. They've got the Serpent Wards. So Sonic Wave as well. Tide's been making some good jumps before. And this time he is... Oh! Instant end to the lasso there. And... Oh, they put the BKB... Oh, he just gets blown up. All right, Tide is gone. They'll move out. We'll see B there, but BKB's out in time. Let's see what Luna can pick up. As they're going to look forward to silence. A great Sonic Wave flies over. They've killed off the three of them. It's just the Oracle and the Bat left alive. Buyback comes out for the silence. So Oracle's been swapped out of the base. Oracle's dead. It's a triple kill for the Luna. Buyback from Oracle. Luna and Tide, they're stepping up. Luna's taking heavy hits, though, from the silence. So she'll die. Ravage comes out, but it wasn't soon enough to save the Luna. As Luna's gone. Blink out in time from the Tide. Bat's going to chase out of the base. Look towards the Vengeful Spirit. Put yours up into the air, but they're brought down with the Purge of the Oracle. The base is defended, but it did cost them... What was it? The two buybacks. Tide was the... He bought back on the Dire Sapper for Radiant. They committed buyback from Silencer and from Oracle. It does allow them to defend the base. Now, Dyer will have to reset and go for another push, but if they can do that again, if they can replicate that, if they can replicate that, Dyer, there won't be that second round for uh, the Silencer and the, t the, the Oracle on the defensive. So, I'd say just wait until the group's back up and then try and go down the mid again, or the bottom. Tide is going for the Shiva's Guard next. Let's do a quick sweep of the items. Lads into the Agonims for Vengeful Spirit. Luna wants to get the Lincoln Sphere. Oh, no, or the Satanic. I mean, Satanic's probably the... Yeah, definitely the better option. Whilst Lincoln's can definitely be appealing against the Bat and such, I think Satanic's just going to feel nicer. And there's... You've already, you've just got to rely on your Venge getting the swap playing. As we saw, Shaman went for the Yules. We see Ags being gone for next on the Queen of Pain. Carry Silence her house. Things for him after the BKB. He has got... He's just gone for the Sanj. Bit of beef to him. Oh, Timeless Relic. Oh, that's on the Dire side. I was going to say, Oracle would love to find one of those sort of items. He is very close to having the E-Blade on top of the Dagon. So already that's going to be a huge buff to the burst that you can provide. Bat's got a mech here for the team. And who do we miss? How's the heart progress? Yeah, he's got it done. So Centaur's got 5,000 HP. Very, very tanky Centaur. Let's see what they can get done now. Yeah, wait until they have the Satanic. Telescopes. Someone to hold on the squad. Maybe the Shaman. DD Rune. It's going to be kept safe in the hands of the Silencer. Do not want them to let that go the way of the Luna. If Luna's able to get that, they could run down mid and end it. Oh, they did. F they found a relic on their side. I mean, they've got to give that over to the, the Oracle. Surely he knows. Ah, he knows. He knows. He knows. 
timeless relic. So <laughs> that's going to be pretty ridiculous. I guess as well you take the instant fortune's end, right? I'm not actually seeing that now. I imagine that does mean that you get the instant. It's instant, and it's also... Or maybe you still do have to channel it. Uh, I'm interested to see how that works. Does that just remove the travel time of the projectile? Or does it remove the travel time and the channeling time? It's probably just the travel time. But still, that will, that will still obviously speed up the combo. Check with the Roche, but I'm going to see that for a minute or so still. Tricks to Cloak will be very nice for anybody that wants to try and live through the burst that the Oracle is bringing against them. And what have we got from Tide next? He's nearly got his Shivas. Nearly got his Shivas. Well, on the way to the Agonims here for Undying. He's already half the way there. And the Agonims over the side of Dyer is done for Queen of Pain. See what they're setting up here for here in the mid. Luna. Here's the invis. I mean, I think there's going to be the temptation for them to wait for Roshan. And now they're okay. Yeah, they're smoking. They're smoking. Ideally, jumping the Oracle is going to be pretty huge. Yeah, because of just how much damage can come out of him. Venge, they've got to sit back and make sure they're ready to save from the, 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 the lasso. Tide. They're sitting very far back at the rest of the Dire. Doesn't look like they'll have any jump quite yet. Waiting for Radiant themselves to stray away from the mid lane. Control of the outpost. Then it has hit the 25. Getting that extra bit of mini stun on the Lucent Beams. Oh, Ray, I mean, Radiant. It, it's a hard fight for them to lead into first. You know, a lot of their potential is just on singling out and bursting a hero. Has to be the Luna. If they don't burst the Luna, she'll just out carry them in the team fight. So now it's a good catch. Oh, that's a very good catch. That is exactly what they want there. They find the Luna. I mean, that's huge. That is huge there. Just like that, Luna's gone. She'll buy back. Quop. Also dead. Four dead. I mean, they 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 were patient and they they are able to find her. They get out. They catch the Luna. Roshan still not quite up. It'll be still a minute on that one. But with Luna dead and having to buy back, the game is, is, is a scary point now for Dyer. They just have to they have to be surrounding their Luna, or at least keeping the Venge in very close proximity to her. So that they can bail her out. We'll see what they go for here in the mid. Tier 2 is going down. For sure. I mean, with the hearts, you know, this Centaur, he can tank the towers as long as he wants. Which is going to be nice for the push. So if they can go for this, oh, they're going for it. Oh, but the BKB and the Manta. Luna's going to try and fight. He's out with the Eclipse. Ravage. Oh, it's a beauty. It's a lovely one. The False Promise comes out in time to save the Batrider. But the silencer goes down, and dying will also fall. Luna BKB comes to an end. And there was enough damage done that the false promise was not enough to save the Batrider. Luna getting the cleanup. As Oracle and Sensor. I mean, Sensor's going to try and turn here, but Luna's kind of winning this one. He's got to keep running. Luna's going to continue to try and chase. Maybe even get their hands on the Oracle. Oh, Oracle. Oh, he's going to turn with the burst, but they're in with the science. The swap back, the E blades, and the Sonic Wave is going to miss. Doesn't matter, though. Oracle still dies. Luna lives. That's the important thing. They got the shackles as well. With the reach of the Ether Lens and the Telescope, Shaman's able to lock down the Centaur as he tries to run away. 
Everybody dead on Radiant. Luna in the pit. Roshan at the ready. They'll get this Roche. They'll get the Aegis. They'll get the Shard. Imagine, yeah, Luna wants to take that as well. They haven't bought it for themselves yet this game. And then it's going to be time for a big push. It's going to be time for a big push. Here we go. And can they deal with it? Oracle has just had his buyback come back available. It wasn't quite up earlier, I believe, but it is there now. Let's see where they go with this push. He's got, yeah, they've got the shard. Yeah, get that used, get that in. They bring him around the top. Buybacks are coming in. Oracle's going to come in with a buyback quite early. They're a little concerned that the Undying's going to die. They know that they need everybody up for this defense. Still 25 seconds until the silence is back in, and Centaur Warrunner does not have buyback himself. He's spent up. He hasn't got the money, so they'll have to wait for still a half a minute until he's back. More bat. Careful, careful. He's gone. He's got buyback, though. He has got buyback. Oh, Oracle's going to turn with the burst. He's killed the Shaman. But he's been caught in the Sonic Wave. Can he get the False Promise off in time? He can. False Promise is there. Flame Break for the bat to knock back the other two of them. It's global Silence is out. The heal, Undying. He's also going to be able to get himself back into the fountain and heal up. Silencer steps up. They've got the lasso. They've caught the Luna. They're dragging him up to the fountain. Oh, she's in the fountain. She put the Satanic, but she's dead the once. Stamping forward. They're trying to chase out the Quap. The Ancient is exposed. Luna round two. What has she got? What has she got? She's still got the BKB. She's got Satanic at 20 seconds, but she's got to deal with the whole team. If she puts the BKB, Silencer will die. Centaur and Batrider running back to the base. She's got Satan in 10 seconds. She's going to turn for the Ancient. She's just going to look to close it, look to end it, but she gets knocked to the side of the flame break into the hoose stomp. Luna's dead. Luna is dead. Radiant have defended. Quop, they're panicking. They'll jump out. They'll look to the side. There is a Ravage available. There's a Ravage available. Tide needs to get over and needs to help out. The team needs their help. Buyback's coming out for the Silencer and the Undying. Tide's watching from the side. He's choosing the opportune time to jump in. Batrider is pretty low. He jumps out. But he doesn't want to wants to commit and so does the Venge, but Tidy's he's being hesitant. Quick bounce the magic missile. Does he want to jump for the Ravage onto these two? They're tanky. Even if he goes for the Ravage, it's questionable if they're actually gonna do enough damage to kill them. I think he's gotta hold back. They've gotta wait. They've gotta wait until they get the Luna back up in 80 seconds. They can chill, they can go for it again. More buybacks were used by the Radiant. Silencer. Undying. Vengeful Spirit. A little bit of appreciation from the Oracle for the match that we're having. It's a good one. Back and forth. Nice game, guys. Seriously. It is. It's a nice game. There we go. You two, that's nice. There we go. And they said Dota 2 players were nasty. It's not true. Friendly banter here between the two. Between the two as well, they've been tipping each other. They've been tipping. They've been pausing. That's all right. They can set that aside and appreciate a good game when a game is good. Nice to see. Oh, down the mid they go. Oh. oh no! Oh dear! It happens. It doesn't matter. He's still dead. He's still dead. They're still pushing. They're still pushing. No Venge, no Sharma for 80 seconds. Neither of them having the money. All tied! Oh, damn, he's, he's doing it. Look at this. He's doing it. He's holding back the creeps. He's holding back the creeps. He's holding back the push. They've got no creeps. Tied with the micro. He's slowing him down a little bit. He's slowing him down, keeping that backdoor protected. It's gone off for now, but it should be back in a second. Quop. Careful. Oh, the creeps are coming back in now, but Luna's up. They've got the three of them. BKB popped by the descent. So jump forward from the back right. Look for the grab, but they had to force out. Lasso still on cooldown for a minute. To spook out the PKP from the Luna. And they're holding 30 seconds until they've got the full team up for the defense dire. Let's see. There's the jump, but this global's already. Oh, they've lost it. That was the Luna! Oh no, that was the Luna! Luna just died! So, oh no! Oh no, that's not good, that's not good. Oh, this ain't good. That's okay, he's got buyback, but there's no Luna. Luna just died! 
Oh dear, oh dear. They've got three of them. Wait, so who's that? Okay, Oracle just TP back to base. Ah, his creep's coming in. Fair enough. Oh, that's scary though. Can these three do it? Oh, Refresher. All right, all right. He's got Refresher. Yeah, get, get cast the wards. No, he didn't cast the wards. He didn't get a second wards off in time. Venge is dead. It's just down to the tide. He's the last one left alive. It's, uh, Silence is going for him with the BKB. He's got no Ravage for 100 seconds. The mid racks are done. Luna's up in 40 seconds. Oh my goodness, 40 seconds. That's, I think that's too long. That's too long. 40 seconds. 30 seconds. Oh my god, this is going to be such a long 30 seconds for the Dyer. I mean, Radiant, they don't push too fast. They don't push too fast. That's a little bit of the saving grace here for Dyer. Oh my goodness. Okay, she has buyback as well. She doesn't want to use it. She's up in 20. Don't use the buyback. You don't need to use it. She needs to save that for a second life. She really doesn't want to use it here. They're trying to force it. Oh no, 10 seconds. She doesn't want to buy back. But if she doesn't, Tide's definitely going to die. Tide, he's dead. She doesn't want to buy back. Because she wants to hold it. Here it comes. One tier four's gone. Quartz back up in five seconds as well. Let's go. What has she got? Tier four's ancients exposed. The silence comes out. Quick man to remove it. They're looking for the last hope of the BKB's there. They turn, jump forward. Sonic waves in. They've killed off the bat. The BKB's are out. Luna goes for the next easy target. Takes out the Undying. They get the jump over. They've killed off the Silencer. Centaur is the last one here. As Luna and Quop, they're holding. They're holding the Ancient. Oh, but Oracle's in with a burst. Quop, he gets nuked down. Oracle, can he do this here? Against the, he's against the two of them. He has got false promise, but the Hex is in. They're going to be able to kill him off as well. Everybody's dead. Everybody's dead. No buybacks. We'll check out the old buyback status on this one, but I think that might be that. GG. I believe that is that. In fact, Luna, they're already in. They're already over. They're already ready to close it up. Good game, a close game. And a nice one to see. All parties involved, they did agree it was a good game. And it was. It was a good game. Uh, but a good game that Dyer take. Well played. Well played. Good game. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. What a game. Back and forth action. And Oracle definitely getting the KDA up with this build. 23-8 and 14. But alas, at the end of the day, just a lack of push. There was that last moment, a lot of time, but Radiant, they just didn't really have the heroes to take advantage of being able to push like that. But there we have it. There we go. So, wow, wow. I hope you, ladies and gentlemen, enjoyed that cast. Much love to you all. I've been Odie Pixel. If you do enjoy the content, be sure to drop a like, a comment, or subscribe to the channel for more. And I will see you next time for some more Herald Casting. Uh, so look after yourselves. I hope you enjoyed the Dota 2 here today. And that was that. Well played to the Dyer taking the victory in this one.